There's another major move that we like to make in writing equivalent expressions, and that is to use the distributive property to write an expression with no parentheses in it. Why? Well, because an expression with no parentheses in it is just easier to work with. For that reason, we need to talk about how to remove parentheses. Right. Well, okay. When do we need this? So, we need to do something to get rid of parentheses when they're making multiplication or addition happen before an exponent. And I'm sorry to say, spoiler alert, we're not going to talk about this right now. Or, parentheses are doing something if they're making addition happen before multiplication. That's the situation we're going to talk about right now. Parentheses that are making addition happen before multiplication. How can we get rid of such parentheses? So let's say we wanted to write the expression 3 times x minus 5 without parentheses. Well, first I want to write everything as just multiplication and addition. Right, so 3 times x plus negative 5. And now we know a property that tells us about how we could do the multiplication first. Namely, we distribute the 3. So instead of 3 times the sum, we have 3 times the first number plus 3 times the second number. Here we can work out this arithmetic. And instead of plus the negative in the end, I want to write subtraction after all. This step right here, this really is just the distributive property. This is just what the distributive property says. When we have an expression like this that we want to write without the parentheses, we use the distributive property. Let's see a slightly more complicated example. Let's say we wanted to write this expression, 2 thirds times 5x minus 6y plus 12, without parentheses. Well, again, we just distribute, and we understand minus as plus the negative. So we'll have 2 thirds times 5x, and the associative property will let us do this multiplication first. Plus 2 thirds times negative 6y. Again, we can do this multiplication first because of the associative property. Plus 2 thirds times 12. Now we just do all the multiplication of numbers. You can use your calculator for this if you like. We have 10 thirds x minus 4y plus 8. That's all there is to this distributive property work we're doing. Let's say the expression with parentheses in it is just part of a larger expression. In this case, well, first, as always, we want to write subtraction as adding the opposite. And now, for this next part, all the action is happening in this term here. So I'm going to pull that off to the side. All right, we have negative 3 times x plus 2. Distributing, we'll have negative 3 times x plus negative 3 times 2. So we have negative 3x minus 6. We take that negative 3x minus 6, take it back to replace this term, and we have 4x minus 3x minus 6. 
Now we just wanted to write this without parentheses, so I'm going to leave it there. If you wanted to combine like terms now, you could. Okay, let's see a couple of strange examples. Why is, why is the distributive property going to apply here? Well, you know, we saw some things about taking the opposite. And we saw some things about multiplying by negative numbers. And I think if we experiment a little bit, we'll find that taking the opposite is just the same thing as multiplying by negative 1. Right? If I multiply something positive by negative 1, I get the negative version of that number. If I multiply something negative by negative 1, I get the positive version of that number. So my opposite of 5x minus 3, I can understand that as negative 1 times 5x minus 3. And now distributing. That's negative 1 times 5x plus negative 1 times negative 3. Again, minus 3 means plus negative 3. Actually doing the multiplication, negative 5x plus 3 is what we get, written without parentheses. Okay, one more strange example. So far I've talked about multiplication. What about division? Say we wanted to write 4x plus 10 divided by 2 without parentheses. Well, remember that division is just multiplication by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. We can rewrite this as 4x plus 10 times 1 half. Applying the distributive property again, we get a half times 4x plus a half times 10. Multiplication is commutative, so I can go ahead and write the 1 half in front. And I'm going to do that because that puts the 1 half next to the coefficient here. All right, now I can go ahead and do that arithmetic on my calculator, or I can just remember multiplying by a half is dividing by 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. We get 2x plus 5. Now we can think about this as having a distributive property for division. Or we can just always write division as multiplication. Which one you choose is basically a matter of preference.